Today we're working on our 1979 Chevrolet C10. We're going to convert this truck from a long bed to a short bed. We've been talking about it for quite some time. Now it's time to finally get to work. We're going to take 20 inches out of the bed sides. We're going to start with 14 inches here and 6 inches here. We'll also be cutting the frame 20 inches. Alright guys, you can see we're going to take our time here and uh, we measure twice and cut once. We don't want to get it wrong. As you can see in the photo there, there's a red line cast on the body that follows all the contours. That's a Bosch um, auto leveling laser device that uh, shoots a beam there, um, both horizontally and vertically. And we, we use that to mark the sides of the truck. Um, you can see in there that I got a plumb bob out just to, to confirm that, that yes, indeed, it was uh, um, straight up and down like we thought it was there. And then I went ahead and marked it with a felt marker there so I could uh, position my tape. Um, later on, I found that uh, I had more confidence in the red and didn't really need to, to mark it. I just went ahead and uh, put my tape right right along the marks. And of course, after, after getting the tape on there, um, double checked it and make sure that everything is, is uh, where it should be. Now, the nice thing about that pointer is I uh, was able to cast a line on the inside and get it right where I wanted it there. Uh, and that, that really helped out because I had troubles previously in one. You can see there I've cut six inches out of the one side already. And now we've gone to the driver's side. And, and here um, have the uh, uh, line cast onto the bedside again. And uh, I'm able to just put the tape down without the marks and it went a lot faster. You can see as I walk by there, the, the, the marks uh, shine up really well there. Um, and I turned out the lights in the shop there for a bit and really could see the, the lines really, really well um, for lining up the tape. And then again, of course, we, uh, we checked our measures several times before we started cutting. You only get one good shot at it um, unless you plan on repairing everything with a welder. And I really don't like doing that. And then we got our tape marks uh, lined out there for our guide there. And then we use our four and a half inch grinder to cut alongside of the tape there, as well as a Sawzall in places where we needed it. Okay, as you can see here, we've got the rear bobbed off there. Uh, took our six inches out and we've got it outside where we could remove the trailer hitch. And then we were cutting the ends of the frames off on it here. We're taking about six inches off. And I found that the cross member uh, that goes across in the rear, I was planning on leaving it, uh, but I was not able to there. It interferes with the bed. So I've ground off the uh, heads of the rivets there and uh, moving that cross member forward. And I'll talk about that a little more. All right, guys, gonna give you a little quick update here on the short bed conversion of the C10. As you can see, we're pretty well committed. Um, we took uh, six inches out here, dropped the end off. Uh, normally, a lot of guys take the bed off the truck. We felt that it would uh, make kind of a good jig. I uh, didn't have to chase it around on the floor. So, for me, it worked pretty good. Uh, plus, it just didn't have the uh, saw horses and the help to lift it off. So, I think this is going to work pretty good. We'll see how it goes on the front side when we cut it but overall went pretty good. All right, you can see where we've got it cut off there. One thing I haven't done yet is the rear cross member there. I was hoping to use it, but it is actually gonna be in the way. So I'll probably just cut off the, the rivets there, you see. Just cut, cut the heads off of those with the cutoff wheel and then just knock them out. And then I'll take that cross member out of there. Um, then this bed will slide up all the way because it doesn't interfere in the backside. <clears throat> Just want to show you a few of the tools that we use at a cordless uh, DeWalt uh, cutoff grinder cutoff wheel um, Worked really well for this uh, Then I also have this little body shop saw with a blade here uh, Something I got at Harbor Freight and it works very well. However, it is painfully slow very very accurate uh, Very easy to keep a good straight line But again 
uh, painfully slow and it does go through the blades uh, a little more frequently and just a electric four and a half inch grinder with a cutoff wheel uh, and then we used a cordless uh, sawzall here and that worked out very well too especially on the uh, the bed floor when we cut that that seemed to work the best there it was fast uh, the blade lasted uh, made the two cuts all the way across uh, didn't have any issues with the blade so it was a uh, it worked out very well for that. One of the things you'll see here is I did do a step notch in it here. I got a little grinding to do yet. And I notched it back on the bed floor there. And two reasons that I did that. Uh, there was a, a brace underneath on the bottom side that I cut out, as you can see there. And I wanted to miss that brace, but also it will uh, it'll lock it in on the sides of uh, pretty good there and I'll be able to weld that in uh, probably give it a little extra strength and that wasn't really my reason more to, to miss that brace um, and of course there's the two six inches pieces that we cut out of it uh, so for now I think we're gonna name the truck Bob because she's a little bobbed at the moment looks pretty funny but um, would it look good when it's done there so we're uh, cranking her out here had a few visitors here today and then here comes Jared in the 86 Dante yeah. Devin in the big 86 Chev 4x4 on 42s the boys are just dropping by to say hi say hi to Rusty Duck Garage hey Rusty Duck Garage <laughs> Kevin, how's it going? Going great. Dante, Big D, stop in and see how things are going here. Brad's over there in the corner. <laughs> Is he? Here comes Jared. look there before we put her away okay guys I stopped in uh, after work tonight for a few minutes to work on the truck here and try to line some things up and check some measurements and whatnot and one of the first things that I did is make sure that our length from side to side is the same we got 35 and a quarter here and if I come over here I've also got 35 and a quarter one of the things that did is took a straight edge and went all the way across the bed here. Make sure we're not tipped down or tipped up. Uh, do the same thing over here. And we're in pretty good shape there. And then I measured uh, from the bottom of the wheel well to the back edge of the bed frame there. Uh, from side to side. And they're very, very close. Uh, and again, I, I grab my edges a little bit here just to make things uh, just right on it. Uh, yeah, I run the level on the, on the bed post here. And we're in pretty good shape. I don't think we're too far off from starting our welding. Uh, we'll start up here. I'll do my spot welds from here. I'll probably start, start right in this area here. And start with this corner here, it's real defining. Uh, and bring it down. And then we get here. That may push in just a little bit there to get it lined up perfectly. And we'll tack that as we come along all the way down to the bottom side there. But overall, it's come along very well. Uh, find that the contour on the bottom is just a, a little bit different because we removed six inches there. I think it'll pull in just right. I don't think I'm going to need to slice it or anything like that. Okay, overall, this project's going really well. 
Um, we're going to try to keep you updated here and uh, get you some more videos coming forward uh, here real soon. But if you would, please hit that like button, that share button, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks for watching Rusty Duck Garage. Thank you.